Okay, so when your poster is finished, you need to prepare to submit it to the project committee, and then also they are going to forward it to the MCC printer, which does a professional print of your poster. So in order to prepare a correct PDF for that professional printing process, what you need to do is after reviewing and fixing everything that needs to be fixed, you're going to go up to share and choose download, and you're going to choose PDF for print. In this PDF for print, you can choose to not include crop marks and bleed, actually don't put crop marks and bleed for sure, and then choose flatten PDF, which is going to create a smaller file size, which is easier to send, and we don't want you to include the notes. Now for the color profile, if you have a free account, just leave it RGB, it's going to still look great, but if you have a pro account, you might as well choose CMYK because this is going to ensure that your colors are perfectly accurate. Now a normal person can't actually tell when colors aren't perfect and if you don't care if colors are perfect then you can just choose RGB. But if you have a pro account you might as well choose CMYK. Either way it's going to look good. So once we have all those settings set as you see here you're going to click download and it's going to render that download and then put the PDF in your downloads area. So whatever, whatever browser you're using, Chrome, Firefox, Firefox etc. You're going to go to the download section and find that PDF and you need to open that PDF and make sure that it looks correct before you send it in because sometimes in this rendering you can see it's taking a long time. If you had a lot of different techniques, a lot of images, sometimes it doesn't actually like complete the rendering and you'll open up your PDF and like two thirds of it looks good and then the bottom half is blank. So that's why you should always open the PDF to make sure that it's working. So I'm opening it and everything looks good. So this, I can submit this PDF to the committee to send off to printing. So to do that, we go back to the STEM research series page and you can see, oops, I'm in this website editing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of it. But at the top, you're gonna see this button called submit your project and that's where you're gonna go. Once you click on that link, it's gonna open up this page and this is where you can choose the poster, put your information, and then you're gonna upload your slideshow or poster. So I'm gonna click select files, and then I'm gonna find my download section, and I have a ton of downloads on my computer, so I'm just gonna look for the latest version. You can see I've done this video a couple of times, and then I'm gonna click upload. So now it's saying that it's gonna upload my nine megabyte poster, which the max file size is 50 megabytes, so we're good to go there. And then you just hit submit, and then make sure to check with your mentor teacher to ensure that your poster has been submitted so that it can be printed on time for you.